pretty scary when, when you're in the plane and doors shut, all the lights go off twice. That was just the beginning for these 366 passengers en route to Toronto from Rome on Monday. Mechanical problems meant hours of delays on the tarmac as passengers waited with little food and air conditioning. Brian Costa was on the plane on his way home from a two-week trip. If you were lucky enough to sit on or stand on the platform or stairs, you were able to get a little bit of air. Otherwise, you were in the cabin, most likely 45 plus degrees, uh, fanning yourself with a piece of paper. Air Transat says some passengers requested to leave the plane, causing further delay. Ultimately, the flight was cancelled due to regulations for crew fatigue. Passengers sent to a nearby hotel until the morning. There, was, there wasn't a lot of communication. Everyone was always asking for updates, give us updates, what's going on. The rescheduled flight left the next day. The total delay, 23 hours and 46 minutes. An Air Transit spokesperson told Global News in a statement, we would like to express our regret for the inconvenience this delay may have caused to our passengers, but we confirm that we have done our best to ensure their comfort. Air Transit should have brought the passengers back to the gate after 90 minutes. Airline passenger rights advocate Gabor Lucas says the situation is evidence Canada's Air Passenger Bill of Rights, enacted this summer, has little teeth since it doesn't apply outside of Canada. Those regulations don't protect passengers. If those regulations were working, what we have seen today wouldn't have happened. The company says it will pay each passenger 600 euros or about $900 compensation. Brian Costa says the money offered isn't good enough and isn't sure he'll fly Air Transat again. The circumstances, the situation, it was, it was inhumane. I, people get arrested for leaving dogs in a hot car. What about humans on a hot plane? Albert Della Tala, Global News.